Today we'll be looking at the PVT Compensate Strategy, available in the Atlas Copco Power Focus 4000. In some assemblies, such as the installation of helicoils or other threaded inserts, the level of prevailing torque can vary. When running a standard torque strategy, this can lead to an inconsistent amount of torque being applied to clamp load. PVT Compensate allows us to compensate for the prevailing torque in the joint and apply the same amount of torque to clamp load on every fastening. When programming a PVT compensate strategy, first define the target torque to be applied to clamp load. Next, specify a rundown complete point. When the fastening reaches this torque level, the power focus will look back to calculate the prevailing torque in the joint. Define an angle interval for the prevailing torque calculation. The power focus will take the average of the prevailing torque over this interval. The calculated prevailing torque is called the compensation value. The compensation value is added to the initial target torque to achieve target plus prevailing torque. In this example, we have a plastic test block with different size holes, which creates different levels of prevailing torque. The target torque in this PVT compensate strategy is 20 inch pounds. When running a screw into the larger hole, the total torque applied is about 30 inch pounds. However, the tool reports a final torque achieved of 20 inch pounds. The additional 10 inch pounds were applied to prevailing torque before the screw had seated. When running a screw into the smaller hole, the total torque applied is now 35 inch pounds, but the final torque reported is still 20 inch pounds, with 15 inch pounds now being applied to prevailing torque. 